You gave me this. You made me give. All your weight falls down on me. Finally feeling the gravity of those words, your words, as I tearfully regret having the desire to be inspired to write once again. Since my source of inspiration has now become you, wishing that my pen could remain dormant, so desperately wanting to write these words on a sponge so they can soak up my tears. Tears that I shed faster than the way I shed that weight that time, which you helped me to overcome by bringing me a case of insure that you carried in a shopping bag. Damn, you're strong. Tears that threaten to make these words disappear from this page, much like you disappeared from our lives, leaving us running on E. E. On a day that started with a slow march through a sun so concrete garden overflown with pastel colored hearts and peace signs, ended with me being serenaded by Macy, her last words reassuring me that you were all right now. You should have been there. Then we could have feasted on a pancake breakfast with a look-alike instead of potato and cheese pierogies. <laughs> Yet the next day I found a way to drown my sorrows with maple syrup as I found a new spot to replace our old dive, which had been condemned, which is only fitting, for I would never be faced with the prospect of having to dine there alone overwhelmed by memories of you. Seeing you for the first time reminded me of Easter, but thinking of your last times had me wishing you could start in a remake of that story. Remember how I used to tell you don't sweat the little stuff? Well now I find myself stocking up on antiperspirant because this thing is big, so big. Maybe by not seeing you I can convince myself we just fell out of touch, but that daydream only lasts for a few seconds before reality comes crashing through. Hitting me hard, like being hit by an iron, while being struck by the iron knee of the memory of me fighting you tooth and nails against your desire to see me in a pair of wings. But now I find myself praying to God that you received your own pair, your final evolution through reinvention now complete. I never knew you were a pack rat, because that's the only way to explain how you could cram so much life into 29 short years. With journeys from Alaska to Paris, you got to see the world. Now you get to explore the universe, hoping that your final resting place is adorned with cotton-filled silk, lit by an 18th century chandelier, and onk your crucifix. I'll never be cold again, because from your fire, I've taken some of my own. You see, you gave me this. You made me give. All your weight falls down on me, weight that I would gladly carry, like a shopping bag full of insure, until I see you. Again. My biological clock, seamless yet infinite, beginning with the time on my mother's watch, ancestral bloodlines connecting me to the present, fleece kissed by the sun, blood though still red. I am a woman on the front line and black is the color of my skin, vying to match peace with protection with pride. Part of the universal detail to duty. A stone's throw to eternal rhythm, my internal drum beats. Sworn to serve, born to give, destined to become. The relativity of distance, the proximity of oneness, and the humility of breath. Hands ticking past minutes spent, lives lost yet given, I sun drenched. Stride in the footsteps of my ancestors, filled with the secret life of melanin and the whisper, shh, resting, shh, in the parade of black women, beginning with the time on my mother's watch, 
I am a woman on the front line and black is the color of my skin. The ID of my family ingrained in the genetic culture of my DNA. Detailed to duty, I am active by faith, sustained by spirit. I am standing on freedom. I am serving up a love energy so great. No wonder I am a bearer of children, a wealth of influence. Because melanin women like me, we know life thirsty. Passionately protecting the pureness of the past. Ensuring a future seamless yet beautifully intact. We are singing a poem of prayer. We are serving and protecting. We are serving and protecting until we become the words they speak, the bluster of the wind, rewarded serenity, discovering the joy and the beauty of I am blessed to be in the skin that I am in. I am black in hue. I am mindful of ancestral bloodlines and the color of the ocean. Beginning with the time on my mother's watch, passing the baton in the proud tradition of black women in hue. Because I've always, 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 always wanted to be a black woman. I've always, 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 always wanted to be a black woman. This is my black girl song. This is my black girl song. This is my black girl song. Chica, chica, chica. Burn daily, burn with every page you turn. Buy another lie, distraction of the eye. Read daily, read with every page you bleed. Thank God it isn't you, the crucifying. Burn daily, burn with every page you turn. You buy another lie, distraction for the eye. Read daily, read with every page you bleed. Thank God it isn't you, the crucifying news. Burn daily, burn with every page you turn. You buy another lie, distraction for the eye. Read daily, read with every page you bleed. Thank God it isn't you, the crucifying news. The truth is. Oh, the truth is. No longer defined by the parameters of understanding or any other form of self-absorption. Be it experience or the existential relation of time. Fallible to taste, to touch, to scent, and most definitely intuition. Believing the incomprehensible, the sensibility of a well-thought-out lie. The construct of which, the construct of which, the construct of which falls apart in the hearts of lovers who know that love would never, no, not ever appeal to an existence from no return. The betwixt of loving and lying, the betwixt of loving and lying and lying and loving could never be real yet. The truth is. The truth and guess is. who's caught in the news again? The, the man is. you grew and knew was your friend. He gave is. life his gift a song. They loved and shoved and loved him wrong. Now before you know, everybody wanna throw stones. Drain the mother's soul, the human gone. Now they lick their lips for his bones. Now they lick their lips for his bones. This shift of inconsistency strangles man-woman relationship. Creating new realms of reality to which we have no frame of reference. 
to conceive or deliver us to our innate stature of understanding, relativity, light, or spiritual recognition. Peering from the inside out, we should instead reflect the truth Cracked out on the page of sin The queen of pop another pill again She sacrificed her sacred song All to prove her daddy wrong Now before you know everybody wanna throw stones Drained her of her soul, the woman gone Now they lick their lips of foreign bones Now they lick their lips of foreign bones Yet we choose to value false pretense for fear of being wrong, fear of abandonment due to loss of love, fear of facing our value due to disrespect, denying the granting of, denying the granting of, denying the granting of perfect relationship with our divine mate, for the spirit of truth is flawless. And given the wisdom of the ages and God's grace, we can and should, we can and should, we can and should always embrace that which is love. So I just wanted to take this time to talk to you, to try to explain through my poem how I feel about love, the seriousness of my truth, no longer define the truth is the truth is the truth is burn daily burn with every page you turn you buy another lie distraction for the eye read daily read with every page you bleed thank god it isn't you thank crucifying god. news burn daily burn with every page you turn you buy another lie distraction for the eye read daily read with every page you bleed thank god it isn't you thank the god crucifying Poetic inspiration. Poetic inspiration. Produces. Produces. Positive thinking. Positive thinking. Think big. Think big. Through art. Through art. So read the poem. So read the poem. Speak the poem. Speak the poem. Live the poem. Live the poem. Spoken words save lives. Spoken words save lives. So let's do it for the world. So let's do it for the world. Literacy through art. Literacy through art. Our future. Our future. Is reason. Is reason. Enough. Enough. Period. Period. I mean, I never, I don't know, I don't really have no game. It's just me, and I won't say that I'm plain, but I... Just that type of cat who gets straight to the point Here, you want someone to join Take the tub So we can talk a minute And get to the heart of the matter huh. Thank you.